this nine of pentacles and this seven of pentacles. This could be Leo. This, okay, this is part two. This could be Leo, you or your partner. If this is a business relationship, this is your partner or you, Leo, contemplating on whether they want to do it on their own. Like, Leo, if this is your partner and they're the one who gave you this bad news that they didn't want to work on it no more, this was your partner sitting there contemplating. Should they do things alone by themselves? Somebody, Leo, you or somebody else, this is somebody contemplating whether or not they want to be single in a romance situation or whether they want to go in business by themselves. This is independence. Either one or both. But somebody was here thinking about it. And if this is someone. Like I said. If this is. Somebody who sabotaged you Leo. Sabotaged you or Leo. You doing this to somebody else. If this is a sabotage situation. Somebody you know. Just want you to feel some certain type of way. What I'm getting is your person, whether in love or business, your person could have um, viewed you like this, like courtship. Like it's just something formal. This person could have, Leo, you viewing the relationship as two of cups. You viewing it as a soulmate connection. And you view it as guaranteed success. But the other person, whether in work or love, just viewed it as something courtship. Something casual, ain't getting serious, ain't deep. I don't know you like that. Courtship. So because the other person, Leo, whether this other person is you or the other per or the other party, because the other person viewed it differently from you, because I'm getting this is. What I'm getting is two, two views, two different opinions. One person viewed it as a soulmate connection, a guaranteed success. Another person viewed it, viewed it as just a courtship, something. If it work out, it work out. If it don't, it don't. Courtship. So somebody, the other person, Leo, you or somebody else contemplating being single or going into business by themselves. When I asked for more information about courtship, this Queen of Swords came out. Now, this Queen of Swords, she do not play. She's very logical. She thinks with her mind, not with, with her emotions. And whatever she say with that sword, if she going to say something, it's going to be the truth. This Queen of Swords is usually, she not no liar. She not playing games. She not a liar. She ain't trying to play no games. She's just thinking logically. And if she not saying something, she going to take that sword because she thought about something. Logically, up here in his, her head, she's not moved by emotions. She thought about something, and this queen of swords going to take that sword and cut something out. Something that don't serve her no more. That's what that queen of swords do. And what clarified the queen of swords was this page of wands. Now, this is a passionate new beginning. A passionate new beginning. This ace of, ace, of, ace of Wands. If I said Ace of Swords, I meant Ace of Wands. This Ace of Wands right here could have been this. This Two of Cups. That could have been that. This is a passionate new beginning. But whoever this Queen of Swords is, Leo, whether it's you or somebody else, whoever this Queen of Swords is, this is the person that viewed this two of cups as like just something casual. I can do it. I can, it's either or it don't matter. This person, this courtship stuff is like indifference. I can do with it and I can do without it. It's like something casual. So this queen of swords is the one who could have possibly ended it. She, this Queen of Swords could have caused this ending. This Queen of Swords could have did it. Because this Queen of Swords got her back turned to that Ace of Wands. 
And I'm getting the Ace of Wands is this Two of Cups. This Ace of Wands is this Two of Cups. She got her back to it. So this Queen of Swords changed her mind and she leaving it behind. Leo, whether this Queen of Swords is you or somebody else, this Queen of Swords done changed her mind and she done with this Ace of Wands. She done with it. For whatever reason, she don't want nothing to do with it. For whatever reason, I don't know. Leo, I don't know if you, I don't know if you're the one who looked at this Two of Cups as a guaranteed success. And this Queen of Swords could be somebody else, possibly a, um, somebody of the air element, a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I don't know who, who. But ever who, whoever this Queen of Swords is, though, this is the reason why this happened. There was an ending. Yeah. And let me clarify this Queen of Swords. Because if this Queen of Swords... Let me just see something. Clarify this Queen of Swords. Okay. Okay, so Quill, get back to the basics. And Torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Okay. So, this Queen of Swords, because we all know this Queen of Swords can sometimes represent like somebody X. Like, this is someone, this Queen of Swords can be bitter. This is somebody somebody's ex and you know she's speaking her truth but she she got a little bitterness about her so leo you or somebody else i don't know if this is your ex i don't, I don't know who this queen of swords is but this quill card came out for her get back to the basics so that's like this queen of swords if this was an ex, possibly you could have Leo, you or somebody else. If this is your ex and you thought y'all was going to get back together, Leo, you or somebody else, this queen of swords after she thought about it, this bird, this, this say, get back to the basics, get back to the basics. So that means if she got back with you for a moment, this Queen of Swords, after she thought about it, she got back to the basics. And what she did, she took that sword and she gave you some enlightenment. Because this say enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. That Queen of Swords gave somebody, Leo, you or somebody else, somebody gave somebody some enlightenment, awareness, and some understanding. I don't know. But this Queen of Swords, if this is an ex, and if she the one who did that sabotage your energy, because she didn't come out in reverse, though. Now, if she would have came out in reverse, I would have said, yeah, this is her, and she sabotaged you, but she didn't come out in reverse. So, Leo, whether you this Queen of Swords or not, whoever this Queen of Swords is, is she caused this ending. And I'm starting to think that maybe it wasn't malicious, possibly. It probably wasn't malicious, because what that Queen of Swords did when she got in that Queen, that air element, and she started thinking about the, the facts and the logics of the situation, she got back to the basics. And she told herself, no, I will not view this as no Two of Cups. I will not view this as some guaranteed success. I will not view this as some a good omen. This is a courtship. This is something formal. This is something casual. Something changed that, yeah. And she took that sword and she spoke some truth. And she, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. That queen of swords told somebody where they, where they stood at. And she had to make it clear. She had to make it clear. Because I'm getting two separate people, whether this is in work or in love. I'm getting two separate people. I don't know if you was in business with somebody, Leo, and it got, like, sexual, like, personal. That could have happened, too. And that Queen of Swords had to snap back into reality, and she ended it. I don't know exactly what happened. But I'm getting two separate people on two different, um, looking at something from two different perspectives. And that Queen of Swords, Leo, whether it's you or somebody else, 
that queen of swords, she, she ended it. She just ended it. And whatever she said with that sword, it was enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Yeah. So basically, she gave somebody a reality check. That's what I'm getting. Somebody got a reality check. Because somebody was thinking that something was a two of cups, soulmate, and something was a guaranteed success. And that's not how that queen of swords viewed this situation after she probably had to think about it. Yeah. So, Leo, I'm going to end it at that. You guys, it's looking like you guys have two videos. So, depending on when you catch the video, if you see part two first, you might have to wait an hour or two before you see part one. And if you visit my channel, Blood Queen Tarot, you'll be able to see part one and two of the video. So, again, Leo, I thank you. And remember that time is fluid. Time and fluid and all this energy stuff, it do what it do and it do what it want to do. So, remember, it may or may not resonate with you. So, just keep in mind that this stuff, it could resonate with you or may not resonate with you. And that what, I, what this reading, it don't have to play out specifically on the, the time frame that I said. It don't have to play out between January 24th and the 31st. It can play off later. It can manifest itself later on down the line in time. So, just keep that in mind, Leo, um, as you... Um, Listening to Tara and Leo, thank you.